up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you all have a great day today. Points race number seven here at the Roseburg Indoor. I am ready to get after it. What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. I hope you're all having a great day today. Two day show here at the Roseburg Indoor, Saturday night uh, portion going on. We're down here in turns one and two. First off, oh wait, I do wanna, I do wanna thank all of these guys right here for helping me save the intro. We're down here in turns one and two on the entry of the corner. Here's a look at the top side. Here's a look at the bottom right down here by the disc. Like I said though, you guys know the drill. Two day show, Roseburg Indoor, we're ready to get after it. It's gonna be a great day. Carly will be making her second start in the open division tonight. I'm excited to get to run side by side with her again. After watching her video, I saw some comments under it. People are like, she's way smoother than you, Tanner. And she was indeed, especially in the heat races. I was watching her, just barely turning the wheel. So her line is she'll drive it in pretty hard into the corner, but she'll lift earlier than I am and kind of just roll and barely turning the wheel right through here on the crease. And even after watching the A-Main Event GoPro footage from her, she got better at running the bottom too during that race. So Carly will be competing tonight. Of course, I will be running the open division as usual. We're gonna be throwing slide jobs, running side by side, and I'm excited. It's gonna make a good vlog footage for uh, both of our videos, because once again, I'm gonna make one on her because she's still early in her development in the 500 class, and it's fun to get to go look back and watch her and see how she does. So let's get into it. Points race number seven, Saturday portion of a two-day show. I'm not sure if we're gonna run both days yet. Uh, we'll make up our mind probably at the end of the night, but it's the Saturday portion, and let's head out for hot laps soon. I just got done with hot laps. My car felt good out there. I ran majority of my laps on the top side of the racetrack and was able to just, it's a little rough up there, a little rougher than last week, so my car was bouncing a little bit. Tried running the bottom as well and was a little loose down there, so we're gonna make some adjustments to help me down there in the heat race. There is a catch though. I start on the pole of heat number one, but look who's on my outside. Heat 1B, 18T, and 22C. So Carly, she drew a 31, I drew a 13. And that was good enough to put her front row outside of her brother Tanner Holmes. So this is gonna get interesting. We already had a little talk. I think we already, uh, so as siblings, there's two things we could do. We can either not tell each other what we're gonna do at all, or we're gonna like kind of work together and tell each other, hey, I'm gonna go here, here, here. I'm gonna give you room as long as you give me room. And so that's kind of what we're doing. We're both gonna go with the second cone, give each other lots of room. I don't wanna drive over her because that would not be good. And she doesn't wanna drive over me because that would also not be good. So hopefully my mom and dad will probably be a little bit more nervous than usual but hopefully you can stay calm but first heat race we'll be heading out for that next Harley and I we're very excited to go out there and race side by side Heat race is over. I do apologize. I don't think you guys saw any GoPro footage on my end. Uh, my parents, they got to me at the last second and I think it was in time lapse mode or something. So it was all messed up. But uh, started on the pole, Carly and I were side by side. I got a good start. Okay, I'm just gonna say Carly, I thought she was gonna get me on the start. The reason being, okay, so if I am, this is the only way I can explain this, okay. So if I'm right here, the inside's right here, you know, I'm right on the inside because I'm trying to give her some room. She's my sister or whatever. She just keeps coming down. Like she was on my door. She wouldn't even like be like that far away from my tire. She was on my tire. Carly, what do you have to say about the start? I don't know. I was just doing what I do in 250s, you know, like keep my, uh, I think it's the right front. Left, years, left le front. Oh yeah, left Same front. Thing. Left front, right in front of my right front. So I was like, okay, Carly's, Carly's making that rookie deal. She's trying to be ahead of me the whole time. And so I was like, this is what I was going to do. When we got entering three, I was just gonna pick up my pace a little bit because she was a little ahead of me. And when I did that, we were side by side at the line, got a good start, the force choke took off, and we won by a good amount of a lead. Like I said, once again, apologize for the GoPro. I wasn't sure if it was on and it was in like time-lapse mode or whatever. Uh, Carly ran a good race, she ended up finishing fourth, started second, had a great battle with Johnny Burke, and we won by a good amount. So now we're gonna start sixth in the next heat race. We gotta go forward, but our car was really, really fast, and I got better and better every single lap. There's a big, big, big bump off of exit 
two. And I kept hitting it early on, but after a few laps, I kind of just moved up a little bit above it, and that seemed to be better. So we just got better and better and better. Excited for heat race number two. We will be starting sixth in that one. The second open heat race for Carly and I is over. I started sixth, ended up finishing second. My car was absolutely flying fast. I also had really just everything go my way. So we go into the first corner. Carly's on my inside. I was probably, I would say a foot ahead of her maybe. I was just, I had just a nose on her going in the corner. And I tried to take advantage of her. So I am right here, Carly's right here, and I try to cut down in front of her. And when I do that, Carly decides to get on the gas and feed me a little right rear. It wasn't anything crazy, but just a little love tap or something, I guess. Carly, what were your thoughts there? You decided to door your brother. Yeah, I, if I, I think if I can uh, be more aggressive here, it'll make me be a little more aggressive at Red Bluff. Hey, that's good thinking. That's really good thinking. And it was a good move because I tried to take advantage of her. And when I did that, I tried to, you know, really put her in a bad spot. She was not having any of it. And she ended up, Carly, what did you say finish? Fifth. Fifth, so fourth and a fifth for Carly. I got a first and a second. That should put us on the front row of the Open A main event. Really, really excited about our night so far. So first, a second. Here's a look at the exit of turns, uh, turns one and two. The bottom's really good. Got a little bit of grip to keep your left front in. And then the top is pretty good as well. It's definitely slicker up here. And there's a few bumps right in here you just gotta watch out for. I'm thinking if I go above them, I'll be even faster. Now looking at turns three and four, a little bit smoother down here if you just run right above the crease. If you get your right rear in there for any reason, you might hop a little bit, but down here we've been really, really fast all night, and I think that's where we're catching other race cars on the track. I did try the bottom in the heat, and I felt okay down there. I wasn't forcing the limit, limit too much, because once I got into second, I knew I'd probably start on the pole if I just finished there. So I was just trying to work on my line, see if I could catch the leader and give him anything, but he was pretty good on the top side of the racetrack. We did reel him in towards the last few laps. Here's a look at the top side. A little bit of grip up here, starting to slick off though a good amount. And then down here on the bottom, you can keep your left front right on these discs. Gotta be careful not to spin yourself out though or anything. And then we have the famous Rip the Lip Kid. We've been hanging out all day long. Talk about how, how you've been doing so far today. So, um, it's, nah, I don't know. Bad, what? what no. How'd you do in your heat races? Um, I went, I went fourth and then, first I went fourth and then the second I went third. So you have a fourth and a third? Yeah. Fourth and a third for the Rip the Lip kit. What are you gonna do in the A-Main event? Rip the Lip. Rip the Lip, all right, good luck to you, buddy. All right, we'll wait for lineups to be posted and then we'll let you guys know where we start. I'm guaranteed to be on the front row. And would you look at that, 18T front row inside of the 500 Open A-Main event. We got 20 laps ahead of us. Carly is gonna start 10th, same spot as last time. We're hoping for a good solid top five for Carly, top three for her maybe. If she can get on the podium, that'd be awesome. I'm really looking for the win tonight and staying ahead of Carly. What if she gets up to second and starts throwing sliders with me? But got some good competition. The 88W, I finished right behind him last week. He's going to be good. Johnny's going to be good. McMaster's going to be good. So the top four, top, even the top six, all these guys are going to be really, really fast. So we start on the pole for tonight's main event. Let's see if we can get our first win of 2019. This looks like last week once again. Anyway, I'm down here with Johnny Burke. Johnny, where are you starting for tonight's day? 
fourth. Fourth. And tonight we're putting the same thing on the line. A Tanner Holmes hoodie. Johnny wants it bad. Rebound. Rebound, Rebound tonight. So it's last going week, down. Last week he finished third. I finished second. I absolutely blew his doors off when I passed. And uh, mm. anyway, so okay. both the home siblings have been out to get Johnny. Last week we had a good battle with him. And tonight Carly about plugged you. Yeah, like. Carly about stuffed me in the fence. <laughs> Luckily I was holding on to what I was doing. Yeah, so Johnny, he had to start blasting both heats. Both went heats. Seventh to third both times. Yeah, I missed roll call. He missed. Never heard of that before. He missed, I missed roll he call. He missed roll call at the pit meeting. So he had to start blasting both heats. Anyway, Johnny, you start fourth. Let's go get him tonight. Mm -hmm. Maybe... Maybe you'll be walking home in the rain in a TH hoodie. Uh, I'm gonna be standing on the wing in a TH hoodie here right. in about 20 minutes. <laughs> We got it done tonight here at the Roseburg Indoor. What a night it was. So we had the two heat race format and that sets us up for the A main event. We had 14 total opens. I started front row next to Carly on the first heat race and I was able to get the jump on her. We had some good side-by-side -side racing there for the first lap. I was able to pull away, win the first heat. The second heat race, I started sixth. 
I was able to get up to second. That made me the high point guy, and I was able to start on the front row and lead all 20 laps of the feature. So, outstanding way to start 2019, an outstanding night for sure. I did want to show you guys my right rear tire here. We loaded up the trailer. I haven't got a chance to really talk much because I had tons of family and friends and everyone hanging out after the races. Can't see my tire super well, but I will say for an 11 and how slick the track was tonight, it helped that there was some moisture in the air. Looks very, very good. Hard to see, but definitely over 50% usage and the 11 was the right call. I had tons of time to keep it cool and I had lots of, I, I think I had like two red flags. So when the tires do heat up even for a little bit, when you have a red flag like that, you can cool them down and you have tons of time to save your tires. But we got everything all packed up, ready to go. Carly did have some misfortune in the A-Main event and we're gonna have to put a new right side wing panel on her. She got caught up in a huge Talladega style crash down the front straightaway. There was like, I think everybody but two cars. So like there was like 10 maybe, eight to 10 cars uh, involved in that wreck and it was huge, blocked the whole racetrack. But my car came away without a scratch so very successful night our first win of 2019 i do want to thank all my sponsors commercial collision sundance science modern machinery durango rv in red bluff california factory qrc for building the best outlaw carts you can buy if you guys want to check them out link in the description below best customer service best outlaw carts they're built so well check them out for sure that's what i'm always driving in area 51 under my uh under my car. But I have a fan of my videos down here and she drove six hours to be here today. Her mom and grandma surprised her. She's from Washington. Brooke, you must have fun at the races today. We got the win. Yeah. So Brooke, you drove what? Where are you from? What city? From Puyallup. In Washington. Like I said, she drove six hours. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with the Holmes family for the day. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Like I said, the best way we could have started 2019 and a win in our home state and very, very close to home always feels good. And it just gets me very excited for the new year. And I'm ready to take it on. I think the green wing was good luck tonight. I know we didn't have some good luck in the past nights with it with when we wrecked last week, but a uh, great comeback. And so second last week uh, to end the year, and then we got it done. So anyway, I see you guys all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you everyone who tuned into the live stream, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Deuces. Deuces.